Hey guys! Oh my god. Why? Why and why? I, I just seen a video about an Indian guy who did Everest Base Camp track with us. Not with, with me, but we started trekking the same day, uh, December 19, uh, and we finished on December 30 together. Uh, this happened on the 19th of uh, December. Uh, on the 20th, I moved to a point called Lukla. So I go on a chartered flight to Lukla. We met this Indian guy with his teammates along the way throughout the trip. Actually, uh, they were on a second flight on a December 19. We were on a first flight. So we didn't meet them at Lukla. But when we meet, uh, they share the story about the Lukla flight. Their flight landing to Lukla was a bit scary because the plane just banged the runway. And it was quite scary for them. That's what they told us. I was leading two Australian people uh, to Everest Space Camp. And we meet uh, this Indian guy and his team. I think there were seven in a group. And uh, with the guide and porters. So we, we meet this group in Namchi Bazaar. And after Namchi Bazaar, uh, Namchi Bazaar to Tangbochi, along the trail, we are walking most of the time together. And the Tangwuchi, we were in a different tea house, guest houses, so we didn't meet each other at night. But uh, in Dingbochi, which is uh, day six of, day five of our trek, the same as this Indian group too, including Mr. Suresh Babu. We all had an acclimatization day there. It means day five and day six in Dingbochi. I'm going to show you some video clip where Suresh Babu was and he's trekking with us. As you see in the video just here, in a uh, nearby the fireplace in Dingbochi guest house, uh, Suresh Babu was drinking water there. And the next morning was acclimatization day. Uh, they also hike a bit. We also hike a bit and come back down to the empty house. We stayed overnight together. The next morning when we woke up, it was everything is white, all covered by snow. And we started trekking, and Suresh Babu was with us again. As you see in the video, he's walking with my group. And uh, we took a video of pictures uh, together and we hiked to Labuche the most of the time together on a day seven. And day eight, we uh, we did Kalapatha first and we went to base camp, but Suresh Babu and his team, they did only base camp. And we meet them in base camp too. Uh, he was taking picture with the the saw and tie and all those things, um, like being like official, like he's going to office, not the Everest Space Camp. From uh, Namchi to Lukla, we trekked back the same day and it was like, what the hell, the snowfall was quite heavy. So yeah, we make it to Lukla, but due to the new snowfall cover runway um, of Lukla Airport, uh, there is no chance we can fly next day. I saw that. Suresh Babu and some of his mates, they took a Babu helicopter to fly out Kathmandu. Actual adventure was Cheperandi because there were some people who do it in 8 days, 14 days on a normal trek. Uh, some very elderly people who try, they, they do it in a good 3 weeks, 20-21 days this Kuntaru. But one uh, person has done it in 6 days, so we then catch Hegel I, I, I was I was up for the challenge. But... What Suresh Babu is claiming now, he did Everest Base Camp Trek in four days. But why? What you get? Why you why you lying to people? Uh, you were suffering a lot doing 11 days trek up and down. But now you are claiming that you did four days up, two days down. It's just not the same. I didn't know why why you you love to lie that way. What you what's it behind? I'm curious to know. Let the all know. Why you are lying? You start to trek on 19th December and you finish trek in 30th December and you said you completed like four days to base camp. What the hell going on here? You you can lie a bit, not like the whole thing. Um, so I started walking uh, and mine is a solo trek. Mm. Uh, so once I started, um, I don't have uh, anyone to do my baggaging and stuff. So, no, 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 just now he said he tracked as a solo. He didn't have anyone to uh, help on his baggage too. 
And after a while, you said like, I got all two sickness, blah, blah, blah. And thanks for my brother who is a doctor. He advised me to do this and that. And thanks to my guide and Sherpas. What do you mean? What do you, where the guide and Sherpas came there? How are we thanking his guide and Sherpa? He's, he's trekking solo, right? That's what he's saying. And now he's saying, yeah, he's thanking his guide and Sherpa. Come on, bro. In the third day afternoon, um, I had severe headache. Um, you know, it was like, it's called mountain sickness and mm. uh, AMS center, acute mountain sickness. Everyone faces it. Acute is small, uh, but this was heavy mountain sickness. Uh, thankfully, uh, in my preparations, uh, <coughs> my brother is a doctor, uh, Dr. Chaitanya. Okay. Um, so, Chaitanya and Sangeeta, both of these uh, were doctors uh, in my family. We were well equipped. I mean, uh, he told me at what latitude uh, 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 or what height attitudes sorry, uh, uh, what medicine do I need to take or uh, what pills do I need to take each night? Mm. Uh, so he gave me all of that. He said, and if it is a severe headache, you know, take this pill. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you need, uh, uh, if there is inflammation uh, uh, in your body, you know, take this pill kind of. So I had uh, my medicine box ready and I was reg regularly taking it, whether or not I'm feeling um, discomfort. So that was one thing which I helped. I actually thank him. I thank my guide, my Sherpa, all these people. But Mr. Suresh Babu, why you are lying? You are trekking with the company. You are trekking with a guide and porters. Your guide is my friend. I know them very well. And your luggage and porter are carrying. Some of your videos shows you are carrying a porter bag. And you are claiming that you are carrying everything yourself. <laughs> I'm laughing, man. It's just such the same. Like, why you are lying? I'm, I'm just curious to know. And you see, you see the video? What he carrying? You see his day pack? He's just carrying maybe few kilo, two kilo maybe. And the rest of the, his gear carried by the porter. What's the meaning behind? What you get? Okay, you make it for every space camp in four days. So what? Even you summit, so what? Everyone summit Everest nowadays. You also summit, so what? What do you think? What do we achieve doing, uh, lying and saying that you reach every space camp in four days? I can do it in two days easily. The only thing is, it doesn't, it's, it's good. Like if you really make it in four days, that's good. Uh, I also congratulate you. But every step you are lying, lying to the people who are looking for this kind of trip. You guys want more proof? Mr. Suresh Prabhu, can you show your Lukla flight ticket? Which date it was issued? Can I check your permit? Which date you issued? And there's a checkout also who did your permit checkout. Can you show your permit? Your Sagarmathan's permit. Check in date and check out date. Please show us. Show us to media. And we trust you. Can you do that? Of course you can't. You, you start a trek from 19th, you finish at 30 December, if which is 12 days. There's no way. What I don't oh my god. No, my only question is why? What is behind Suresh Babu? Come on, give an answer. It is such the same, you know. You Because of you, you see my thumbnail title, Indians Scam. How it, it feels when you heard that like Indian Scam on Everest. Don't do this kind of rubbish. Be gentlemen and just accept what you can do what is your limit? Go with it. That's it, guys. So, am I wrong? Why? Why you need to lie? You take like three weeks, four weeks to complete every space camp track. That's fine. Okay, you complete in four days, that's fine. But it's totally lie. Every step you lie, which is, I'm really, really cannot take it. Like, that's why I had to come out. I'm telling the truth who is watching this video. Uh, please don't do in four days minimum seven eight days to reach base camp and then come back down three to four days trek safe easy hike enjoy see you in the himalayas don't do like him okay he's one of the liar